What's up fellow eggheads? My name's Alex and I'm here at Big Green Egg Corporate today and we are going to celebrate a holiday tradition Big Green Egg style. What holiday tradition you're wondering? Prime rib. This beautiful five pound prime rib from our friends over at Porter Road. Uh, we're going to be cooking this thing today on our Big Green Egg set up indirect and we're going to be cooking it 450 degrees for about 20 minutes. Beautiful build a beautiful crust on the outside of this piece of meat and then we're going to finish it up at 375 degrees until that internal temperature hits a perfect medium rare which we'll show you later. Uh, if you have questions about where you can do what we're doing today we've got a beautiful prime rib cheat sheet available on biggreenegg.com. You're going to be able to use this and cook a killer prime rib for your friends and family this year. So without any further ado, let's get into making some delicious prime rib. So we are going to stud this thing. Uh, and by stud it, I mean put little pieces of garlic. You can use thyme, you can use rosemary, you can use flavor that fit your flavor profile. But we love the garlic here. It matches perfectly with our classic steakhouse seasoning here at Big Green Egg. It pairs really well with beef, um, gives a great flavor to the beef has uh, you know essences of onion, garlic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with a little rub on this side of it. And if you season higher, you give your rub a chance to fall apart so you're not gonna ever have your rub clump up on your meat. This is the rib and roast rack from Big Green Egg accompanied with the drip pan. So I'm gonna be using this today to make sure that I have the ultimate beef gravy to go along with this prime rib. So we're gonna load our uh, prime rib right into this roast rack, right in the bottom of it. So we're gonna get this thing added to our egg at 450 degrees right now. So come on, check out what I've got going on. Let's put it on. So this roast is going on the big green egg at 450 degrees for the first 20 minutes. And this thing is looking absolutely beautiful. It's gotten some color to it. It's gotten some crispiness to it. So we're going to drop our heat back now by closing our regulator and closing our bottom draft door a little. We're going to drop our heat back now to 375 degrees. Welcome back guys. Uh, we are about to pull this prime rib off of our egg after it has been cooking at 450 degrees for the first 20 minutes. That allows us to put an epic sear on the outside of this prime rib. And then we finished it up at about 375 degrees until the internal temperature hit about 130 degrees. So this will be a great medium prime rib. This thing is perfect. So big step, and you can't forget this one, is we have to rest the meat after it's done cooking. If we were to cut this right now, all the juices would be flowing all out all over our cutting board, and that's not what we're looking for. We're wanting all the juice to stay in this bad boy right here. Without any further ado, let's get the twine cut off this bad boy, and let's get this thing cut up. Alrighty, who's ready for the first slice? Oh baby, look at this prime rib right here. This thing is beautiful. If this is what you want to be eating this holiday season, this Christmas while you're all huddled around the tree waiting on presents, this is going to make a killer Christmas dinner. So make sure you look for all the details on how you can do this. Find our Big Green Egg Prime Rib Cheat Sheet at BigGreenEgg.com.